So we're just moving out the test centre. Going past one now. The driving test. We're going to do the left at the end. So uh, we're going to try and complete a full route at this time. So in the first few minutes you're probably a little bit nervous. Try and drive like normal and you'll find it a little bit easier. So this route we're doing now, it starts off not too tricky, has a little bit of complicated bit where it pops through the B&Q and then the be roundabouts over heading towards us, the hospital. So we're doing left at the end, so it's mirror signal. Check in, it's nice and clear, follow the road ahead. Weather conditions, one minute it's raining, next minute it's not. So you need to give yourself a four second gap if it ends up being west of the road. If the examiner says nothing to you, he wants you to follow the road ahead. So we're slowing down, left lane to go ahead. Two lanes on the approach to the roundabout, so it's going to be two lanes on the roundabout, following it round, checking your mirrors and signalling to come off. Sticking to your left side at this point, so we're going to two lanes. And then, um, same, the roundabout, we're going to do a left turn. Quite a few people approaching the zebra before it, so there's a possibility you might end up stopping. 30 mile an hour at this point, checking your mirrors, to the left, signalling, slowing down, changing gear, letting that bush get out of your way, good observations early makes it easier. Ahead of us, another pedestrian crossing, nice and clear, it's still 30 mile an hour on this road, you can also do a carriageway because there's been no speed limit change to tell you, so you need to keep an eye on that, so if a car shoots past you, you need to be aware of the speed limit because it could be that the road's 30 or it could be faster on different roads, so you need to be aware of your speed limits. Checking to the right, slowing down for the traffic, selecting the correct gear. It's the sort of thing that will be running through your, your mind normally. Checking your mirrors to the left, signalling. You can see the speed limit coming up now, national speed limit on the dual carriageway, 70 mile an hour. Now, um, there's different ways they can do this one, this combination of club. What we're going to do, on, what we're going to say here is, we're going to go ahead at the first roundabout, we're going to go ahead at the second one. So we're going to go ahead and both of them. So there's two ways you can do it. Um, on my previous videos of the test routes, you, you can see I'll, I'll do it in the left lane. On this one, I'm going to do it in the middle lane, just to give you an idea. You can do it different. So I'm checking my right shoulder, it's nice and clear. It's signaling to pull off into the middle lane. As you'll notice in a second, the middle and the left lane go in the same way. And I'm slowing down to the roundabout. It's nice and clear, and I'm making a move, going towards a curb on the right at this point. It's a sharp bend to the right on this point here, so keep the speed down, nice big turn. You don't want to be drifting into the left lane. Follow it round. See, that's the advantage of going in the right lane at that point. And we're going to go ahead, so we're checking the middle lane, checking to the right, it's nice and clear. Keep an eye on the traffic on your left, just in case anyone's in the wrong lane. Checking your mirrors to the left, signaling, increasing your speed. There's no point in dilly dallying, going slow. Yeah. And this is an interesting one, the speed limit's changed on this stretch of road, now it's only 40. Going past IKEA, going to the stadium on the left. Keeping your space from the car in front of you. So you can only go as fast as the traffic. So if the traffic's only doing 30 and it's a quarter mile an hour road, you can only do 30. So don't start going right up to the back of the traffic, otherwise you're going to get serious for uh, being too close. We're dangerous for the break, you don't have a chance to stop. Braking in response to the red van. Braking. So we've been driving along now for about five minutes on the on the test. Uh, hopefully by then your nerves will be settling down, and um, you've just done some, an odd, tricky combination. So everything's going fine at this point. Don't forget to use your gears. Don't kind of keep in third gear if you're getting towards far. So you want to be in fourth gear, otherwise. You're going to pick up faults for being in the wrong gears or the back of the gears, as I would call it. And remember, if you say nothing, follow the road ahead. So I'm slowing down for the roundabout.
check it to the right, slow it down for the traffic on the roundabout. Nice and clear. That's what I say to all my pupils, is when you're slowing down giving way, get yourself ready to pull off, don't kind of wait for the traffic to completely go past, otherwise you're slowing yourself down. Right turn into Neverfield, so just check them centre right mirror, followed by a signal. It's quite clear ahead here because that traffic coming towards is quite far away, so there's no reason to stop for it because you're not going to cause him to slow down. And then it's ahead at the first roundabout and left at the second. So we're checking to the right, we're going to go ahead, check your mirrors and signal. Left at the next one, check your mirrors, signal. When you come into here, your test you're probably going to get a, a parallel park so you could pull you over here on the left checking your mirrors signaling slowing down nice car in front of you where you're going to do a parallel park so I'm checking round there's a car coming through and I'm waiting patiently there's no point in always moving so I'm checking the right shoulder and I'm out nice and quick slowing down stopping Pop it in reverse, check over both shoulders, and I'm gonna turn with the back of the car to level, one full turn left, looking round over my shoulders, looking for the two o'clock position for the angle, one full turn right, taking my time, looking round, looking for the curb, it's getting close, one full turn right to start bringing the front in. If you need more, you put more lock on. Looking good and then straighten himself up and stop him. It's not bad. Look round, it's nice and clear, and I'm off already. Checking and pulling out, and then I'm off again. So you could get a parallel pack. You could bring you down here on the left and, and get it and do any of them here. If you do do a maneuver along here, they're gonna Move you off after the manoeuvre and then ask you to pull over somewhere safe. So it's a nice spot coming up on the left, so you're checking your mirrors to the left, signalling, because there's a people on the left end behind us. Slow myself down, handbrake neutral. At this point, just make sure you secure the car, handbrake neutral, cancel your signal. So, independent driving starts from this point. So um, they're going to direct you out, out the estate, so we're going to follow the road ahead. When we come to the main roundabout, second roundabout ahead of us, we're going to um, turn right and follow the signs for Central Milton Keynes at that point. So I'll repeat it, we get closer. So off we go and ready. So we're checking round, check the right shoulder. We're moving off, no one around at the moment. You can see a car in the distance going round the roundabout, so you're expecting him. Oh, he's going, going round the this, even better. Side to come in. Going ahead at the roundabout. Mirror signal to come off, keep it nice and tight because it's not a very wide road. So we're just going past Neverfield shops. It's been men on the left or street cleansing men, so just be careful because they might step out. Looking up the road, checking your right mirror to go around the cars. Ahead of us is a roundabout where we're going to turn right. After we turn right, we're going to follow the signs for Central Milton Keynes. <coughs> Check your mirrors to the right, signalling, get yourself in a position to get in the right lane, check into your right on the approach, and then just carry on going, because that van's quite far away. Use your gears wise left, don't hold back in the gears if you have to. Check your mirrors to the left, signalling, following the road ahead into the left lane. Of course, it's blocking your view slightly, there, but, to go to the central Milton Keynes, it's to the left. I think it's about to see coming up now. It's the left of the first roundabout. Mirror signal left. Central Milton Keynes. Can you speed up. Remember, it's at this point we're at a 70 mile an hour road, so they're going to expect a reasonable speed. Reasonable speed on a 70 mile an hour road, it's not raining hard, you want to be getting to about 60. And if it 
less than 50, it'll be pretty slow. So I'm doing 60 mile an hour at the moment. You don't have to do 70, as long as it's reasonable. And then we're going to follow signs for Milton Keynes East next. As we approach the runabout, you can see it, it's the third exit. So just check your mirrors, shoulder check, signal, definitely clear, definitely coming across. Bringing the speed under control for the gear change, checking the runabout on the approach, taking this one in third gear, so it's nice and clear, at 20 mile an hour. Check the left, left side. speed up. Now we're going to follow signs for Aylesbury. So we're on national speed limit, single lane, 60 miles an hour. Keep the gap from the car in front of you. Looks like a new driver. Possibly. Big independent drive, that one. Checking your mirrors, signaling to come off. At this point, the exam is going to direct you. So the independent drive finishes. Some pupils think it a relief when it finishes because it's like less pressure, but at the end of the day, you can drive, you can drive. The idea of these test routes is to kind of give you an idea of what sort of experiences you're going to get with your, with your driving test. But, uh, the main thing is to be able to drive. So we're going to take the next left turn into um, Simpson. So the centre mirror, left mirror, signalling. We're not slowing down, the slip road coming up. And we're going to slip road, that's when you're slowing down. 
So you're checking your mirror, braking, bring your speed down, watch for the traffic on the right and coming across. So there's a give way point in front of you. Check in, it's clear. I'm down to 10 mile an hour. I'm in Simpson, speed limit's gone down to 30. It's in the nice big sign there, so there's no reason why you can't miss it. So we're heading back to Blackshirt at this point. We've covered um, over half the test route already. You just gotta keep your, your focus, keep yourself concentrating on your driving. Because it, it does get a little bit trickier as it gets towards the end of the test. Checking your mirrors to the right, signaling. Heading through Simpson, heading towards Fenny Stratford that way. Check in both ways, nice and clear. So as we come out of Simpson in a few minutes, it'll go back to national speed limit. Now, it's a tricky little road because it's, it's, it's a bit winder and um, Whenever I sit in the back of tests and I, and I watch people doing the driving tests on this bit, we sometimes pick up a, a, a fault, a minor fault, for um, going a little bit too slow. Um, but um, even an experienced driver will go a little bit slow on it. So uh, I always think they're a little bit harsh, but that's just my opinion. speed limit at this point. Opportunity to increase speed. It's not too tricky on this bit. Obviously there's a few signs there at front, so you're, I suppose you're going to be a bit cautious just if you're around the corner so fast. So we're going to do 40 here. So you have to get past this bit here, it gets a little bit bending, winding on the roads, so you've got to be a little bit careful, you don't want to be too close to the left, otherwise you're going to clip the curbs. And you're going to go as fast as the car in front of you, so at the moment we're only doing 30. So if you get a, a van or a bus behind in front of you, they're going to slow the traffic down, which I suppose is an advantage to you with any faults. And then you can see there's three sides ahead of you. Top going down, pump pack bridge, road narrows, and traffic lights, so expect a hazard. Lights are on red, which is good because the proper change, see the changing, activated by the sensors. Bit of a bend on top of the bridge that so bends to the right and then to the left. Then we're going to do a right turn coming up, so we're slowing down for the traffic. Get out of the way. That's it. Don't ever follow someone around someone if you can't see. There could be a car track coming through. So, right turn coming up here. And we're just following it around there. While you're driving on, on the test routes, they're going to pull you over about five, six times. They're checking that you, you can uh, check your mirrors correctly. You're checking to pull over in a safe place, convenient, that's legal. And when you're pulling off, you're um, you're pulling off correctly. You're not kind of stalling. You're not not checking your blind spots. You should be checking them. Back to the left of the bend, so you see what's coming. If you want to stay on the outside of a right bend, in this case it can't come around the corner, it's dangerous. So we're coming to two T junctions. We're going to go left and left of both of them, so it's a quick succession. So it's mirror signal left. This is where it gets a little bit busy again, so we've had it fairly easy with the traffic. So you're just going to keep your focus. Remember, you can drive, that's why you're taking your test. Remember, your instructor's been helping you get you, get you prepared. So if you're going to pull out, you get on with it. I 
mini roundabout coming up. You can see the blue sign coming up over the, over the brow of this hill. We're going to do a right turn. So we're checking our mirrors. We're signalling. Here comes the mini roundabout. Check it to the right. This looks fairly clear. Falling it round. Got a right turn coming up. It's a narrow road going into Western Road. Slowing itself down. I right, can't get out of the way. A nice easy turn here. Can't okay, put this one really slow. Now, when you hit this road here, it's a load to park cars. Now this is a car coming up, I'm going to bring myself to the left, get out of his way. A little way by him. So when you're going down a road like this, it's just a matter of good observations ahead of you. Look for pulling in points for you and for the other driver, because it could be the other driver is going to pull into the gap on the right. You look for the gap on the left. And if you see ahead of us, it bends to the left. Look for the reflections on the car door panels of cars coming up the road because when it's a bit dull like this, you're going to get the headlights on them. A little tip to help you to work out something's coming. Loads of speed bumps. You can't go fast. I'm doing about 15 mile an hour in between the speed bumps and checking your mirrors, slowing down for the speed bumps. You know, it's, it's a tricky road, so you can't go fast down it. But you need to remember that when you do come out of it, that you don't keep going slow for no reason. Lots of um, learners when, when, they, when they take the driving test, they go into a really narrow road where it's you talk them to about between 10 and 20 mile an hour for a few minutes, left and right turn on them. And then um, what they do then is back in there, another wave, thank you. So what they do then is they, they go into a nice open bit, what's going up now, and they keep going slow where they, where they go a bit quicker. Right, right emerge. Next bit coming up is going to be a little bit tricky. So we're heading past the sign of um, Collection Town Centre, the Lidl's on the right. It's a 30 mile an hour road, and this is what I talked about. You go to speed back up, so I'm doing 27 again. I want to go left at the roundabout, and I'm in the right lane. So, mirror signal left, that silver car's waiting, I don't know why. Check the mirrors to the left, shoulder check, and come across. You could have carried on going then. Check it to the right, giving way to traffic on the right. Mile an hour road. We're heading just past the bus station on the left, and uh, we've got pedestrian lights. There's no one there, so that's, that's good. We're going to do a right turn. Now, you can do it in either lane, but we're going to take it in the left lane. So, the centre mirror right signal says so on the lane marks on the ground, then check it to the right. Now, we can actually take a risk then. Roll it round in the left lane, check your mirrors to the left. Signaling to come off. It's funny how they set risks, and there's only one car in front of you. There's a car on the right that coming round. It's all 30 mile an hour road, and we're going to go ahead. So you've got to keep your focus because you must recognise here at this point, knowing that you're not far from the end of your test. You're probably thinking that it's going off the run really well, and all of a sudden you get a little bit of traffic on a hill. So if you stop on a hill, don't be afraid to use your handbrake, even if you're good at your clutch. So all I'm doing is taking my time, bringing myself closer, seeing what's going on, making a move for it. So I don't think I stop then, I think I just come to a, a near stop at the roundabout for a split second. If you race towards somebody in the roundabout, actually slam the brakes on the end of stopping. Right turn come up, nice wide junction. Slow myself down, there's a nice captive white car. Following it in. And then it's just a right turn into the 
test sensor all wilting out. So at this point, I'll turn the video off.